Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat setup guide, if you like what you see, stay, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide, and it also helps out my channel too. Uh, so somebody asked me the other day if I could maybe upload a guide on how to add game collections in Retro Bat. And to be honest with you, it's something that I've not actually considered doing, but yes, you can actually do that and it's actually pretty simple to do uh, so for this what we're going to do is create a collection of say four different systems so first of all what i'm going to do is go to the retro bat shortcut right click on that open file location now i've got four games here for four totally different systems so i'm going to just go to my roms folder uh, first game i got is 3do game and i've got alone in the dark 2 just drag that into the right folder there. Uh, next game I've got is going to go in the Amiga 500 folder. So we got Blazing Thunder, absolute classic budget shoot 'em up. Uh, next up, we have got a Nintendo NES game. So if I just scroll down to find NES, here's NES, and I'm going to just drag Nightmare on Elm Street inside of there. And finally, we got an N64 game, Area Fighters Assault. So I'm going to drag that one inside. So I'm not going to worry about BIOS files for the 3DO game because this isn't going to be a gameplay video. Uh, so what we're going to do then is just open up Retrobat. Okay, so if I just scroll through my different systems in Retrobat, as we can see, we got 3DO, we got Amiga, we got Nintendo NES, and we got N64. All the games are going to be inside. So what I'm going to do first of all to do this is just scrape some artwork. So if I press start button, brings up main menu. If I then go down to scraper, what I'm going to do is just make sure under systems included, the systems that I want to scrape the artwork for are all checked. So I'm just going to uncheck the systems I don't want artwork for just to speed up the process. And I'm going to go to scrape now. Okay, so once that's finished, we're going to go at the game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go then. So I got some artwork and some preview videos for my games. As we can see, everything's looking good, apart from the Amiga game. Uh, so that doesn't matter. So what we're going to do first is actually take a look at the bundled automatic game collections that actual Retrobat comes with. So what we're going to do to open this is if we press start on controller, we're going to go down to game collection settings. If you just go into this one, first thing we're going to see at the top is systems displayed. And this is going to show us everything here, what we can see already. Now, if there's particular systems you don't want displayed as collections, then all we need to do within systems displayed is just disable these. So, for example, I can get rid of ports from here. Uh, PR Boom, Sonic Retro, uh, take away Mega Drive or Genesis. And if I go to back and then back out of this, and if I scroll through my list now, those collections are gone. Those bundle collections that Retrobat comes with. Okay, so let's actually start assembling our own collection. So what we're going to do to do this is just press start. And from here, we're going to go to game collection settings. We're going to go down to create new editable collection. And we can enter a name for this. So you can literally put whatever you want. For example, if you've got the same game or same game franchise, across multiple platforms you can literally call this a uh, super mario collection if you want so what i'm going to do is literally just call this test and that's going to be the name of my collection and once i'm done with that i'm just going to tick it and here we go so this has just generated a folder as we can see here within retrobat so to actually add my own games to that collections folder I've just created, I'm going to firstly go inside of one of my folders, uh, Nintendo 64. As we know, we've got Aero Fighters Assault here. Now to add this to my test folder as part of my collections folder, what I'm going to do is just hold down my A button and this is going to bring up a panel on the right hand side. And if we just go down to test, as we know, I've named that collections folder test. So I'm going to just go to add to test. And at the top center, added Aero Fighters Assault to test. Now, if I go into Nintendo NES and I hold down the A button again on my controller, I can now also add Nightmare on Elm Street to test. And I'm going to do the same with Amiga. So just hold down A button. 
and again collections add to test and finally we got the 3do game so go in there keep your finger pressed down on a and collections and add to test now if i come back out and i go into that collections folder and here's my test folder inside and here's my games so what this has done is not only generated a folder on the wheel as we see just here collections but we can make multiple folders inside of here so for example this literally is just a test folder uh, for the setup guide i'm doing but if you want to make another folder editable folder inside the collections then you can easily do that and just rename another folder inside to something like super mario brothers collection now something else we can actually do is add to favorites if i go into my nintendo nes game and again push down on the a button we can actually go back down to collections and if you no longer want this is a part of your folder as we know this one's just gone into my test folder we can actually remove it or under collections we can add games to favorites too so if i press a on add to favorites and if i come out we're going to find the favorites folder here and here we go nightmare on elm street and i can do that as many times as i want so if i put my amiga game into that favorites folder too hold down the a button add to favorites and then we're just gonna go and find that favorites folder again and here we go so i've got blazing thunder and whilst i'm in here i'm gonna just show you that not only does blazing thunder belong in my collections test folder now but as we can see it's got a star next to it which tells us that it's actually one of our favorites as we know if i go into my favorites folder blazing thunder is in there okay now if you want to delete a collection and you no longer need it if we just go back into the collections folder say for example you got two or three collections in here if you want to delete one of them all you need to do is keep your finger pressed on a delete collection and are you sure you want to delete this item just go to yes and it's now gone and that's it for today's retro bat in how to set up collections so hopefully i've got some of you out there doing that correctly now so if you do get lost with that setup guide just remember it's literally a case of holding down on your a button which does most of the operations for us just by adding new games that type of thing now if you're new to my channel i've done a hell of a lot of retro back content in the last year so if there's a setup guide that you want it's quite likely I've already covered it. I've done over 140 setup guides for Retrobat at this point. And it's not just Retrobat that cover it on my channel. It's many other systems ranging from more obscure front-end emulators such as GameX and Playnite. But I also do more commercial or rather mainstream systems such as Batacera. I also do a lot of long play videos for arcade games these days. And I also do a lot of standalone emulation setup guides. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.